Hey, how's it going? Well, on one of my last videos, Propter Hawk made a really good comment that contained a section that was saying that the whole Chaz thing, which they've changed the name to CHOP, that means Capitol Hill Organized Protests, because I guess they don't want to be associated with trying to be a different country. And they're apparently upset that, uh, that it got named that way. I'm like, well, you let people make these signs, you never took them down, you never changed them, but whatever. That these whole, this whole Chaz thing is very similar to the Evergreen State College issue. Anyone remember the issue that happened at, at Evergreen? Where students were protesting, they took over the school, and they essentially held the staff of the school hostage. And the school let them. You know, they didn't try to really do anything to stop it. And yeah, this is, this is kind of similar. This is a bunch of extreme protesters, extreme activists, taking over an area, and the authority just kind of lets them. You know, this should never have happened. You know, the authority figures should never have just let them do this. But the way that Seattle has been run, it's, it's the city council, the mayor, and even uh, Inslee have just basically, they're, they're, you're, you're trying to be so permissive that they don't care if, if, if places fall apart. They don't care if the city falls apart. Oh, we need to be permissive. We need to be looked at as liberal. Well, there's a, there's a point where you can be so liberal that your brain falls out. And that's what's been happening across a lot of cities here in the U.S. I mean, watch, if you haven't watched it yet, watch the documentary Seattle is Dying. I'll, I'll again leave a link to it in the description bar. It's a well worthwhile watch. Where... I mean, that the city council and the mayor hasn't been letting police do their jobs. Their hands are tied. So they end up just having to, to let uh, people that are causing havoc in the city, they, they, they can capture them for a moment and then they have to release them. You know? They, their hands are tied. They can't do anything about the problems. And there's, there's a big homeless problem, which could be handled quite differently than it's been. And as a result, there's, there's people shitting in the streets. There, the crime has skyrocketed. Businesses haven't felt safe. Of course, lately they haven't been in business because of the, uh, the lockdowns. But, uh, and this is happening in a number of cities. And all of these cities that are having these problems are run by liberals. I don't understand what's going through some of these people's minds. Why do you think that being more and more permissive on things that you should be locking down on is a good idea? I mean, who, who are you trying to get these brownie points for? You know, it just doesn't make much sense. And with all this stuff that's been happening, you know, I already said before the Chaz situation that, hey, you know, there's a possibility we're going to have a, a red wave. Well, it certainly looks that way now. It, it looks like that way now more than ever. You know, the Chaz thing is probably the, the straw that broke the camel's back with a lot of people. You know, I don't want to see a red wave. But at the same time, I don't want to see the cities deteriorate either. And until liberals or people who call themselves on the left or whatever, until these people that, are, that call themselves Democrats, until they're willing to, to, to do something about these problems, you know, until even one of them at least stands up and says, hey, wait a minute here, you know, the rest of the, the, rest of the country sees this. You know, and maybe they're being silent about it now, but they're probably not going to be silent about it when it comes to November. They're going to vote. And unless some things improve soon, 
people are probably going to vote red. You know, and I'm not just talking about the president either. So, I don't know. Um, but when we allow the evergreen situation to take over part of a city, there is a problem. You know, there's a point when you need to tell petulant children, no. There's a point where you have to just say no. N-O, period. No. You can't do that. You're not going to do that. We're going to stop you from doing that. No. And to the people that say, oh, well, the Chaz thing isn't really that bad. They're not really hurting anyone. Well, so far, there hasn't been that much, uh, that much problem. But the rule of law is there for a reason. And if, if people just continually think that we can just break laws willy-nilly, override the rule of law, yeah, that's a problem. That's, that's going to get worse unless we nip it in the bud. Now, I already have said that, you know, hey, let's, let's let this Chaz thing go for a little longer so we can see how badly it fails. Well, we, can't, we can only let it go on for so long before something needs to be done. And if it ends up that Trump has to step in, then so be it. Um, I don't think that's the best answer, but maybe that will be the answer. A lot of people want law and order to be restored to some degree, to at least some degree. You know, between the, the coronavirus and all this chaos, people want to change. Especially since most people don't seem to be complaining in, in, in uh, mainstream media. They're not complaining about uh, the coronavirus in regard to all these protests and the Chaz thing. You're, you're barely mentioning it at all. You make it sound like all, all of these protests, oh, it's, it's all worth it. They're, they're, not really a, uh, they're not really a threat to the spread of the coronavirus. Racism is the problem. That's the message they're pushing. And yet some people haven't been able to see their loved ones when they're dying. They haven't been able to see their loved ones because, oh, the coronavirus. Businesses can't open. People can't have their livelihoods restored. But yet we can have all these protests. We can have a Chaz situation. And that's all cool. No, don't say anything bad about them. Because, uh, because why? You want to push a narrative? It's frustrating. And I think it's going to end up giving us a red wave in November. But we'll see, right? We'll see.